Hey everybody, let's take a quick look at Aquaman, the latest movie in the DCEU, directed by James Wan and starring Jason Momoa and Amber Heard. Momoa plays Arthur Curry, who has grown up as a hybrid human Atlantean and has never really identified with his aquatic calf. And he would much prefer to just live out his days doing occasional heroics and drinking beer. Mostly drinking beer. But things change when Atlantean Mira, played by Amber Heard, shows up, and she convinces him to return to the sea to stop King Orn, played by Patrick Wilson, from declaring war on the surface world. So Arthur goes on a journey to stop King Orn and become the Ocean Master, while coming to terms with his own identity. And at some point, an octopus plays drums. It's that kind of movie. This was a very silly movie. And that is exactly how it should have been. If they tried to take the same route with this film that they took with, say, Man of Steel, there is no way it would have worked at all. This movie has people riding into battle on vicious, sharp-toothed seahorses. This movie has a villain named Black Manta who shoots lasers out of his comically oversized helmet. There is a scene where one of the Atlantean troops, who is wearing a protective suit that allows him to walk around on the surface, gets his helmet broken and all the water starts leaking out, and while he's basically drowning in the air, he has to save himself by dunking his head in a toilet. It's that kind of movie, and I am here for it. This was a whole lot of fun, and basically this movie is a fantasy epic disguised as a superhero movie. It's got a huge, ancient, magical world, and a man on a quest to find a powerful weapon that will make him king, not unlike a certain other legendary character who went by the name of Arthur, and I'm sure that similarity is not by accident. The various underwater cities are vast and beautiful, and James Wan did a great job creating this world. There is a lot of CGI enhancement, naturally. Most of it good. There were a few spots that were maybe a bit shaky, but most of it is pretty well done. And not just with these big underwater cities. Even little things, like the way their hair moves when they're underwater, just wow. And the fight scenes, both on land and in the water, are very well done. It's so nice to see fight scenes that aren't just a bunch of quick cuts back and forth to hide the fact that these people can't actually fight. Again, there is some CGI enhancement, but it's done well. Jason Momoa, I think it's fair to say, isn't really the greatest actor on Earth, but he more or less held his own here. His character was maybe a little bit inconsistent. He seemed to go from serious to wisecracking almost at random. But he does have some good moments, especially the early scenes with him and his father. I really like their relationship. Come on, son, I'll buy you breakfast. Cut to the bar, they're having a pint of Guinness. Which is more or less liquid bread, so I guess that counts as breakfast. Amber Heard's acting wasn't all that great either, but in her defense, she didn't exactly have the best dialogue to work with. I mean, some of the lines in this movie are just really bad. The sea washes our tears away. Fuck off. And I challenge anyone to give a good performance while wearing that wig. That wig was bad. And whoever thought that wig would look good on camera should feel bad. Crappy dialogue aside, I did like the character Mira. She's intelligent, resourceful, and a damn good fighter. Although she prefers to fight with powerful magics, while Aquaman would rather just punch or stab everything to death. And to be fair, he's quite good at that. And somehow they got Nicole freaking Kidman in this movie. Not sure how they pulled that off. It's like, well, we can only take the silliness so far. Let's bring her in here to class it up a bit. The villains were... okay? Mostly? I did more or less like Black Manta, who's played by Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. I hope I said that right. Or at least close. He's a rather high-tech sort of pirate, with his comically oversized helmet that shoots lasers, which was pretty awesome. And basically, he wants to kill Aquaman because Aquaman killed his... Was it his father? His uncle? Both? I don't remember. But anyway, he killed some family member. That's fine. I get that. King Orm's motivations were not as clear. I understood why he didn't like Arthur. They're half-brothers, and because her mother went and got freaky with a human, she was banished, so he blames Aquaman for his mother's death. Okay, fine. Uh, don't really see how it's his fault, but whatever. But what happened to their mother really has nothing at all to do with him wanting world domination. He just wants to take over the world because... 
because this movie is two and a half fucking hours and you couldn't find five minutes to flesh out his motivations just a bit more. And they keep calling Arthur's weapon a trident, even though it is clearly a quindent. It's got five points. Five. Quindent. Although he does get a proper trident eventually. And maybe this is just me, but the title Ocean Master seems a bit weak. It just doesn't have the same gravitas as king or emperor. No, he's just master. Ocean master. Sounds lame. Overall, it was big, it was loud, it was dumb, and I had a great time. I'm sure it won't appeal to everyone, and that is fine. That is totally fine. But if anything I've said has piqued your interest and you haven't seen it yet, I'd give it a watch. And that's all I got to say about Aquaman. Till next time, take care.